the way I'm going to set up this video is that I'm going to have all the deconstructed shuttles set up first and then discuss the results. The first shuttle is the feather shuttle, 16 feathers, sticker on the top side of the cork, two leather parts that wrap around the cork, and the two pieces of cork which I split in half to separate it. Here I have two high-end Yonex synthetic shuttles on this side, the Yonex Mavis 2000, on this side the Mavis 500. Both of them are very similar in terms of the components. Both have the same size cork, a rigid flute area on the bottom part of the skirt, and a more uh, netted, flimsier part skirt on the top. Both are kind of the same. The pattern is a little bit different, but generally they're the same. And here's the Bird 2, a new type of synthetic shuttle from the UK. The components are similar to that of the high-end Yonex synthetic shuttles, the 2500, except you can tell there's a different type of structure or material in the part of the skirt closest to the cork. The cork wrapping and plastic skirt is the same though, even though the pattern is different here on the top part. Here's a table showing the weights of different sections of the four types of shuttles. What was the most surprising to me was the feather shuttle was by far the lightest of the four shuttles, with the synthetic ones all weighing well over 5 grams. Surprisingly though, the weight distribution of the feather shuttle shows that more than half of its weight is in the cork. This may be one reason why the feather shuttle seems to have a shorter recovery time and is able to stabilize its flight so quickly after it's hit, unlike the synthetic shuttles which seem to wobble a bit after you hit them. The only synthetic shuttle that comes close to this weight distribution of the feather shuttle is the Bird 2. The only two synthetics seem to have more weight distributed in the middle section for some reason. Here are the bottom portions of the three synthetic shuttles, the Bird 2, the Onyx Mavis 2000, and 500. The 500 and 2000 look about the same component-wise, so there's very little differences. The Bird 2 is different than the other two in that the portion of the skirt which sticks into the cork, this part here, is a little bit shorter than the the other two. Also, the other two have this backward ridge area, unlike the Bird 2, and possibly this backward ridge is to prevent the cork from separating uh, from this plastic part. Here are the three upper parts of the skirts for the three synthetic shuttles, the Bird 2, 2000, and 500. Of all three of the skirt nettings, the Bird 2 is the most dense. And as such, it has a little bit more weight than the other two, slightly more. The 2,500 have about the same pattern and same weight. One difference is the way that the skirt is ruffled here. It has kind of parts that stick out in terms of like little bumps or little humps. Like the Bird 2, which is, has a little bit of that, but it's not as pronounced as in the other two. Probably the higher end synthetic shells like these have the bumps sticking out, so you can do overhead slices with them. The feather shuttles, it has the feathers that stick out, so you can really hit across the, the plastic part here and generate more spin on the overhead slices. That's just my guess though. But um, these two look the same. The Bird 2, denser pattern, and also it has the stability into this part of the skirt. The part which kind of resists the collapsing of the shape here. These other two are very flimsy. Here we have the corks of the four different types of shuttles, the Bird 2, Mavis 2000, 500, and AS-40, the feather shuttle. Of all four, the AS-40 feather shuttle is the only one with the complete cork. There's no hollowed out portion here. In terms of the size of the cork, the Mavis 500 and 2000 are a little bit shorter. The Bird 2 and the AS-40 are the same heights for the uh, height of the cork. So let's take apart these badminton shuttles. Here are the tools I used, just a, a fine-tuned uh, scale, some wire cutters, and a 15-watt soldering iron. Also a tractable blade for cutting through the cork. I'm using an expensive shuttle, an AS40. Looks like there's some type of glue type substance that's connected it, or securing it into the cork. So the way I'm going to take out the, the feathers, 
and bring apart the string, break it apart. It's with this soldering iron. So if I heat up the adhesive, it'll loosen up so I can pull out the feathers from the cork. I can cut the string here. up the glue or the adhesive material or adhesive chemical and see if it's uh, able to remove itself from the cork easier. Okay, instead of the scissors, I think these wire cutters are going to be a lot better for cutting these small spots. Shuttles here, I have taken apart the, the cork, got four sets of four, so 16 feathers. Let's see how much the cork by itself weighs, 2.51 grams. Severed the plastic part here. basic cork. It's kind of messy too, maybe I didn't clean it so, I didn't cut it so cleanly. This part here looks like some type of leather material, plastic strip around it. 0.47 grams still, 1.98 grams. Yep, it's not even within a hundredth of a gram, it's thicker. This feather. 0.15 grams. Two point four nine grams. So let's cut the feather and stem apart and see where the weight is distributed on the feather portion of the, the shuttle. Five hundredths of a gram for just the feather. You can see it's one tenth of a gram exactly. The stem portion and the feather are around the same length, but there's at least twice the amount of weight in the stem portion than in the feather portion. So we can see that holding the feather shuttle, more weight is distributed closer to the cork than towards the tips of the skirt where the feathers lie. Um, it's kind of interesting. Let's see how the synthetic shuttles hold up. First shuttle I'm going to take a look at is the Mavis 500. Here we go. Open it up. All right. It looks like what I thought. The skirt is actually embedded into the cork. Looks like there's a filling here where more of the cork is inserted into. Maybe it looks like it's one piece. It fills sort of the, the mold here, so it sticks in. It's not really glued in. Maybe there's glue on one half, but it looks like it's uh, one piece cork, and they just wrap it around. They have some mold for it, compress it. Maybe there's glue at the end. So, plain cork. 3.09 grams. So I'll cut here all around and see how much that weighs. See if there's a difference. 2.12 grams. 0.98 grams. 2.34 grams. Bird 2 looks a little bit different. Um, I think the cork is going to be the same on the inside as the other two synthetic shuttles. But separating these two halves of the plastic skirt, I think I can do it with the soldering iron. I can kind of see some glue here because it's kind of shiny in the light. So maybe I can heat it up and separate them 
like I did with the stems of the feathers. Looks like I'm melting it while I'm actually separating it. So I guess you can kind of see how the bird too is split up. At least here at the two piece skirt. This little ridge here. The white part kind of comes onto. See a little ridge here. Looks like they glue it on. I was expecting maybe a flat part here too, but there's no flat part like there is on the white. See how it's flat right here? There's no such flat uh, piece here. No ridge for these two to come and match up on. I was expecting that, but I guess there isn't. It's just this little small ridge going downwards here, not across, just down, where the white part overlaps a little bit. It looks like that's where they glue it. The difference here, as you can see, is that maybe the flutes here on the skirt go a little bit, a little bit taller, go up a little bit farther than the flutes on the 2000. The 2000 has more, of, I guess it goes into the cork more. This part seems a little bit higher than this part. It has this little um, back edge spot here. I guess it's so it's harder to pull out um, or come out, come apart when you hit it. Bird two is just a flat cylinder here. There's no little bump ridge, and it's also a little bit shorter. You can see here, a little bit shorter, but um, the concept is the same. The cork is actually molded into this little hollow cylinder here at the tip of the skirt. Same as the Mavis 2000. 1.06 gram. So one thing that stands out to me from the Bird 2 and the other Yonex Synthetic shuttles, this is the Bird 2, this is the Yonex Synthetic, is that more of the weight distribution of the bird two is into the cork. See the cork is kind of taller than the cork of the other synthetic shuttle. Um, don't know why that is, but it does contribute to uh, a heavier cork than the other two. For some reason, the synthetic shells for the Onyx cork is a little bit shorter than the than the feather shuttle. Most likely I think it's probably because the feather shuttles have to have the stem into the cork a certain distance into the cork so it has to be taller. If it was too short maybe enough of the stem of the feathers can get in so maybe it's more, like, more likely to fall out or get um, or break out. I don't know. So maybe they have a taller, taller cork. Even for the bird too, it's this leathery-like substance. It feels like leather, but I know for the bird too, it's faux leather. 